Hey guys, Jim Rose from RPM Dynamics. In this video, I'm gonna go through creating a show on the Midas HD96. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our user profile, which puts us into the console. Once we're in the user profile, we're inside of the our show user profile, which is now, as you can see, I'm in my RPM Dynamics uh, user. I'm still not into a show. If I go into Show Manager, you can see right now what's active is a show called Test, Test, which was the current show that was on this console when it was shut down. It's not my show, it's a show called Test. What we're gonna do now is, I've got a, a, a show in here called Hello that I started, but we'll just go to a new one. So if I create a new show, and I call this one, call it RPM, why not, right? So we're gonna create a show over here. Now we have a new show called RPM. So when we go to load this RPM show, open, you have an option with your safes and your IO config to use the current ones that are on the console or the ones that are inside of your show file. The IO config can be kind of cool because if you're dealing with a console that has say 231s on it that you're walking into and it used to have DL251 as your stage box, there's a difference in IO. It would be better to launch your show file using the configuration that's in front of you versus having to repatch the console into that. So if you were to choose current on here, all of the IO config on this console will stay based on what was built on another show. So we'll launch it that way. And when we launch it, you'll notice in your playlist and in your scenes, the only thing in there now is a master scene. The automation on this console works based off of a master show file a master scene, I should say. When you create this master scene, it's your first thing in the console or your main thing in the console. After that's there, when you build new scenes, the new scenes you build, the information stored in those scenes are changes from the master scene. That's sort of the way that Time Machine in a Apple works. If once your information is created inside of the other dates, it takes the changes from that so that it doesn't have to utilize uh, memory to rewrite everything. It just writes what's different from there. So it knows there's the master scene and what changes from the master scene to get into a scene. So we're gonna go into the master scene here. By doing that, we just took this console and moved it now into my show called RPM in the master scene. Now that we're in that, we've got Anything that we do, if we want to store it to this master scene, we just click on store to the master scene and it'll store inside that scene. If we want to create new scenes, we just create new scenes and it'll store to those scenes. So now we have locations and scenes that we can store to. Inside the show editor here, you can see that this shows a list of all the scenes and currently we're in a, in a playlist called Playlist 1. That playlist has all of these scenes as we added them. In this console, you can have multiple playlists based off all of your scenes. It's, it's a good feature if you go to pre-production, say the band does 40 songs for a tour, and you write scenes for all of those songs, or you're doing a theater show and there's many acts. You create all of your scenes for those, and then in the playlist, you can put those scenes into the playlist very easily based on where you're playing, the date of the show, uh, and they land in order of what this was created as they're built in that playlist. If you go to another date and your tour manager hands you a different set list, for that day, you could turn around and you could say, I want a new playlist. Now I have playlist two. And from that playlist, you can go into playlist two, you can open it, and now you notice in the playlist editor, we're in playlist two and there are no scenes in that playlist. So that day you find out that you're gonna play song two, three, one, and then the master in order of what these songs are. So I can go into this playlist and I can click here and I can drag or take these scenes over to a new playlist. Now I've picked the same four songs, but it could have been 15 songs out of 30. And once it's in this playlist, if you find out that there's a change in, this, in the playlist, 
you can just grab these scenes and move them around inside of there. So it's real easy to set up your automation based on scenes for the day. This is just a basic to show you the way that the automation on this show, on this console works. It's really easy. It gives you a, a few more variables than a regular console, but this is the basics to the new automation system on an HD 96.